Hey guys, welcome back to another awesome video from Cam Dresser Cars. Out here with my Toyota. We're gonna continue with part two of the Toyota head replacement. Let's get started. Okay guys, so what I just did was disconnected these two from here, that one went there, that one went there, and they attach right there, so just like that, I broke the, if you can tell, broke the end off of that one that goes right here. I think they're sensors, one of them's a cold start sensor, the other I can't remember what, but that frees some of that up, I think. I'll have to get that off too in a second, just to get the whole body out of there, but we're making some progress, so let's keep moving. Alright guys, I'm taking my 24mm wrench, and I will be trying to get the fuel, make it happen right here, loosened. So uh, let me get it loose first, and I'll show you guys what how to get it off. All right, all you viewers, I got it undone. So, just gotta ugh, unscrew it the best I can. It smells very strongly of gas. If you don't remove this, you can't get to one of the bolts that you need to get to, and you'll end up bending the fuel line, which you don't want, because then you gotta replace the fuel line, and that just leads to one thing after the other. So, it must be really long, good grief. So this is a recap of the parts we've all got on here. We got the valve cover, we got the uh, throttle body, we got the coolant hose thingy, whatchamacallit. I think that's the three main parts. Uh, and we have the throttle body sensor thing right here, the carburetor, some know it. Alright, there's the fuel bolt. <laughs> oh, don't lose that washer. Yeah, so don't turn it upside down. But, there it is. Came out of right in there, right, right there where my finger's at. And it screws up in there, like that. We're going to set it on the table here. Set it on the there and uh, so what we got to do next all right guys we can start taking the the fuel line thingamabob off whatever it's called the I don't know the technical term there is a washer on here be careful when you take it off if 
you use my video for doing stuff like this. Like that. And I don't know if it'll focus. There's that washer. Do not lose that. Just for your own. I just lost something. Um, I'm going to take this. Oh, take the bolt. Put it right back where it was. That way I know where it goes. Keep it loose. That way you don't think it's just part of the me mechanics. Mechanics. Haha. <laughs> Play on words there. So that's the fuel line right there. And uh, yeah, you don't want to bend that because then you get yourself into really big problems. Oh, this is the fuel rail. That's what it's called. So we need to remove that. There's a lot of coolant in this car still. We need to remove that to get to unbolting the uh, exhaust manifold here and then taking off a couple other things to get to the actual head. So we go and do that here in a sec. All right, we got to get these bolts off right here. There's two of them and we can just lay the whole thing to the side. Uh, get it out of the way for now until we have to put it back on, which it's a piece of cake. They were on there pretty tight, but I loosened them beforehand so that I wouldn't be struggling to get them off and videoing at the same time. Again, these ones do have washers as well. Don't lose those and you'll be all right. Um, doesn't cause, so it won't cause no problems like that. And they're pretty long bolts. So you can see almost half the size of my finger. Set that one down there and get its brother or sister, whichever it prefers. Right down there. Unscrew it until it's ready to pop out of that hole, which it's not quite ready yet. Here we go. There's the second one. Put it next to its twin. And then you should just be able to, well, struggling with the mess of wires here. Um, you should be able to pop it, or drop it over the end. Sorry, let me do this with two hands. And I'll show you guys what I mean. All right, so. Basically, you take this huge mess of wires and stuff and flop it over. But I can't really do that because of this. It's not really letting me get any more room. But real quick, behind here, that little blue clip. You got to unhook that. Just got to remember where it goes. It goes behind the... Or I can move the fuel pipe. That's a better view. It goes right there on that bolt, which is ugh, kind of a strange place for it. But it goes right there. Not sure what it is. Probably a ground wire since it's black. Then you just kind of flop the wires around like that, and you're able to move the whole thing out of the way, like so. It's not focusing, there we go. You got access to the exhaust manifolds like that. So we're getting pretty close. I uh, might be able to replace it in this video, but there might be a part three. So we'll see what we get to this time. All right, guys, so there's a bolt. Let me get you zoomed out via here. There's a bolt right there. You can see it in the camera. Right here. And it's a hex. Hex. Like a hex wrench, whatever you guys call them. Uh, you'll need one of those to get it out. But if you don't have that and you're in the spur of the moment and don't want to go buy one, uh, vice grips. I use vice grips to get that off. It was pretty tight, but vice grips will break anything loose. And look at that. That's a bolt people usually forget about that's in there. It goes all the way through like that and into the head, which doesn't allow the uh, uh, exhaust manifold to come off, which in turn, people will break it if they don't see this bolt. So make sure to get take that out, set it there. Um, kind of becoming a mess here. But yeah, so there's that, and uh, let's keep going. All right, fellers. Um... So, you see these bolts on the exhaust manifold? There's one, one, and then this guy down here. Um, later, we'll be getting that one off back there for this. So basically, you're just gonna wanna take those all off and make sure you know which one goes where because I'm not going to keep track for you. <laughs> 
you can refer to this video if you're doing a replacement like this. So there's bolt number one. We're gonna set that aside from everything else, right by the handle of the mallet. <laughs> and uh, get the others off real quick, real quick like. I'll see, here's the broken plastic piece that I broke off from the uh, one of the clips. None of you commented on my last video about what you think I should paint this, but uh, at the end of this video, I think I have an idea of what I'm gonna paint it, and um, I'm not sure if I should tell you guys or not, or we'll just make it a surprise, but I think it's best to do a surprise, but either way, feel free to leave your comments and let me know what I should paint it. I'd really like that, like what color would be best, you think? Um, it'd mean a lot to me. Uh, hear your opinion on it. So this one down here I think has a washer. It's a bolt, so you gotta remember those two, or there's three over there, but those three over there are ugh, bolts, and then this one's a nut, or that one right there is a nut. So just keep that in mind because you're gonna need to remember that for later. All right, there's that one. Last, last nut. This thing's not gonna come off immediately, just so you guys know. But it will allow this fuel, fuel make it happen or to come off, slide up and over, up and over it. Okay, so you see this down here? You've got those. So I'm gonna disconnect it. Let me show you guys. Actually, first let me disconnect it over here. So this line here is connected to that far one right there. I'm just gonna pop that off real easy. And then these two are like this. This one's on the bottom, that one's on the top. We're gonna just pull those off of there like that. And you've got your fuel line thingy, which we'll set that out here on the table. So we don't lose it and then you've got a little bit more access this came off of somewhere i'll have to look in the video it popped off of maybe it didn't uh sorry yeah so there's that we have a couple more things to unbolt like this thing right here is all part of it but we have some lines underneath here that need to come off i don't know how well you guys can see but also i think that's the starter right down there which I would never want to replace in this thing because it looks like a pain in the rear end to replace. <laughs> but I'm not replacing the starter. I don't know how good it is. I might want to get a new one. But anyhow, that's what it looks like now. And uh, let's keep going, see what we can get done. So there's a bolt right. Oh, it's too dark on there for you to see. Oh, there it is. Right, right here, right there that I undid. Let's go ahead and take that thing out um, and then this right here I can't remember what it's called like half the stuff in this engine but that has to come off for us to get better access to some of the bolts down there that should drop that whole thing down so we're gonna put this one by his lucky companions of four there's four four bolts so far and one nut there should be three more bolts coming out uh, but this one Right here needs to come off, or these two, and they do have washers, so watch out. Careful not to launch them everywhere. Um, let's see, what's it coming out? Yeah. Wonderful. Okay, so these are slightly smaller. Don't lose those, and don't get them mixed up with other other bolts. Just a quick look compared to. Those ones, it's really tiny. So we're gonna sit that guy over here. And then we'll get the last, the other one out, which is a pain to grab because it's a little back back there a little ways. And I'm wearing gloves, so it doesn't help. Which also, if you're working on these vehicles, I highly recommend wearing gloves. Just because you don't know what's in here. There could be some toxin that like burns your hand or it or something else happens, so. 
Uh, okay, so my dad just got here, I guess. He got here early. Not that you guys need to know that, but there's the other one. Set it next to its twin. That thing drops down like that. And this coolant pipe actually is attached to it. So then we have access to some of these bolts under here and the oil filter, which I'm going to replace. So uh, let's keep going. Before we get to any of those bolts, if you can see that, that coolant line right there needs to come off for us to access the bolt behind it. So it's just this uh, clamp we have to undo and that comes off super easy. Don't forget to do that. All right, coolant line is unhooked there. I was able to get to the other bolt, uh, which is down here somewhere. Um, you kinda gotta feel blindly for it. It's stuffed way back in between these two uh, posts here, which undo that, it pops, comes off. This one also has a washer. You can feel it with your hands or through your glove. Um, come on, almost there. It's amazing how long it takes to unscrew some of these. Definitely don't want to lose these washers. That's something I can vouch for. Ugh. There's the uh, other one. So that's number five, which that end's not quite loose yet. Um, there is one more bolt Ugh. right right down the here where my glove is, right there. Have to get that one undone, then there should be two more under there to make eight. So, I'm going to get to loosening all those and uh, show you guys what it looks like. Yes, I got bolt six on, undone without you guys seeing it. But it was down there and hard to show you guys, so I'm pretty sure there's one right there and the other should be back down there somewhere in the abyss. So. Let me get to working on those. All right, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. There should be one more. Two of those, which is excellent, which to get the uh, second one undone, it's right straight under this, and you can't really get under there very well with like a normal ratchet, so you gotta bring it, find one that's long enough to fit right about here, straight down underneath it, and just do it that way. So that's what I had to do for that. But uh, I think there might be a couple more. I'm not sure. Wow, that is a heavy mallet. So yeah, you could break it loose with like a mallet or something like so. I've got one more somewhere under there, I believe. I'm gonna find out where it's at. Oh, also took the battery out. I think the battery's dead anyhow. So, let's see. You can feel underneath with your fingers, your hands, whichever you prefer. Get it out that way. So this side is completely done. I'm just missing something over that way, which feels like there might be another bolt under there. Or it's just snug up against this thing right here. So I'm gonna figure that out, show you guys what I do, and uh, go from there. All right, to make things easier, you gotta get the EGR valve off, which is what this thing is, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. <sighs> Let me use two hands here. All loose. Oh, maybe not enough to do it by hand. Let's do it. Let's try this. Uh, Kind of a tricky spot to get your fingers into. It's a pretty tight spa space. Small, insignificant, not really easy to. Which I might do better by doing it with this hand. The un. Oh, yes. You gotta take your gloves off for this one. This is so much easier. A lifesaver. Alright, there it is. Don't get that one mixed up, folks. So, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's the exact same, just a little shorter, as you can see there. So there's oil in that too, I'm not sure why, but it goes right there into that. I'm not sure if that pops off yet or if I have another bolt to get off. It looks like I got one more bolt on the back, which 
I'll do that here. All right, got that one loose, which you can come in from the top here if you want, or you can come in from the edge. Sorry, not a bolt, it's a nut. We'll put that next to it. Over there, this thing is pretty close to coming off, but you got one more bolt right down there, and I don't believe that's the 12 millimeter size. Nope, we need one size up from that. I'll do that real quick. All right, I managed to get it off. It's kind of hard. It's a 14 millimeter, just so y'all know. Not 13, not 14, or er, 15. It's a 14, so put that next to those guys over there. I suggest pulling this off. Get it out of your way. Goes on the, uh, the head just like that. <clears throat> and it's got the clip on it for the hoses and whatnot. So I'll put it over here with the other group of parts. This should be coming off, except for you've got, there's a pipe down here, a, a metal, let's see, can I, right about in this area, there's a metal uh, pipe that goes along the manifold here and comes up right under here. You gotta get that off for that to come up. And the bolts under there, I believe, are the 12 millimeter. They should be the right size. Nope, they're smaller. Yeah, smaller than 12, so I'll find that size for you guys here in one sec. They are 10, 10 millimeter. So I'm gonna get that off, show you guys what it looks like, pull that thing off and go from there. Those are loosened up. I just gotta carefully, very carefully get them off. I'm pretty sure they've also got, yep, they got washers. Almost everything in your car engine should have a washer on it, but you gotta carefully undo those as to not to make them fall, which I do have the oil pan down there filled with oil, which I'm not, I wouldn't be a fan of going through there and looking for a bolt. All right, there it is. Uh, there it is right there, nice little bolt. Gonna put that right there. Get his brother, this other one out to here. Let me use this hand because simpler. Oh, there's the. So, come in from underneath here like this, like underneath the manifold. Find the right spot, and it should. Come on, done, there it goes. No, nope, it's just got a tough spot. Might want to grease them a little bit after you get them out, just for your sake, so you can get them out easier after that. Here, let me do this with two hands and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. Wow, all right, there's the second one. Not sure somebody cross-threaded it or what, but it was not wanting to come off, so. There's the, the coolant line, you just pop it off. And then there goes the manifold, which is kind of confusing. I, I think you could just flop it on over and like this, lay it on top of the other parts over here. And then you've got full access to this side, which pretty sure I got to do the same thing to this side. Take this off, take the manifold off. Which, that's actually the exhaust. So, we're going to see how that goes. But, uh, yeah, got this side done. And the bolts for the head, I'm not entirely sure are where. But, that side, we'll figure it out. Um, pretty sure you got to take the fan belt off, which I'm not too thrilled about. But, we'll get there eventually, guys. We'll get there. So, uh... Let me work on the next thing. All right, so the next step is to remove the fan shroud. So I got one of the bolts, which I'm gonna set by my phone case there. And then we've got two more down along the edges here, which uh, kind of hard to get that one over there on the bottom undone. This one didn't have one on the top. So we might be ending up ordering a new fan shroud. I'm not sure. We'll have to see where this goes. Uh, 
thing is stuck in there. Oops. All right, so here's the second one. One more to go up top here. This is the easiest, so I saved it for last. Like that, it pops out. And the fan shroud itself, a little confusing to get off, but you kind of just pull it straight up. You got the fan shroud. Got to lean it against the edge of the table. And I'm going to put these bolts back in the radiator. Are they, wow, this radiator looks brand new too. But like that. No, it didn't go. Not quite. It's hard to get them set. Don't worry about accidentally stripping them because... Well, you should worry about it, but just be careful when you put them back in. That way you don't strip them out because then bad things will happen. Um, like this one is easy to go in. That one wanted to go right back in there. And uh, I don't know if some of you drain the, want to drain the radiator or not before this, but I haven't had trouble yet with it. There's some standing oil in this, but that's kind of typical. And I drained all the oil already. So that gets us down to the belt and the fan, which the fan's plastic, so careful with that. You don't want to break these, they're very bendable, easy to bend, stuff like that. So that allows us some more room to get to this area, which I gotta take this off and do deal with some timing issues. So I'll get to that in a second. All right guys, two things for this. I found the reason the head failed because the timing chain broke. So look at that. Timing train just snapped right off. I'll have to order one of those before I can put it back together. Um, which I will do that later. But uh, yeah. So now we're going to work on the uh, this thing. The, what is this called? The Forgive me. Uh, it doesn't come to my mind. The sparkulator. Spark plugs. So you got to remember which one goes where. The short one right here is number one, which goes from here to right here, which just ugh, pop that off, which I'll be ordering new ones of these anyways, but pop it off. The second one, the second cylinder here will be this one right here, which goes to the bottom one down there. Just pop, ugh, good grief, pop this one off, maybe with the other hand. There it goes. Man, that was stuck. So, third one it will be the first. First one right here. Pop that one off. Like so. If you're going to replace these anyways, don't worry about them not coming off because... There it goes. This one was really stuck. I'm definitely going to have to order new ones. And then the final one is apps as the longest one and it goes right down there and leads all the way to the final one which is at the back here oh my goodness oh gee there it goes and with that you got all four off and you might be out of breath if there's that stuck on there but kind of blew my mind i wonder i'm gonna replace the head anyways just to be sure but I definitely need a new timing chain. That was a that was an interesting find, but we'll be replacing that, I guess, in this video too. So there will be a part three. Uh, so, anyways, let me keep working on this, and hopefully, I can get the exhaust manifold off and the uh, distributor without messing up the timing, which I'm afraid the timing chain broke, which means it did mess it up. I'm putting the new head on. I got to time it anyways. That's a whole nother video, whole nother story. So uh, let me work on that. All right guys, so what I gotta do is crank the engine all the way around to where this number is up on top, like so. Well, that's probably close enough. As long as it's facing up, that's okay. So the timing was actually very accurate on this thing, apparently. And I'm glad I don't have to do much with that. So probably end up taking this out next. And then the exhaust manifold, drop that down, and then we have full access to the head to pop it off. Which means that'll probably be the end of the video. 
because I need to order a new chain and replace that. But so far, we're doing pretty good. All right, so this thing needs to come off and there's a bolt down here, right? No, right there that loosens the distributor to where we can just pull it out. And uh, so I'm going to do that real quick, show you guys what it looks like when it's done, and I go from there. Alright, got the bolt out. Don't want to get that mixed up with any other bolt. It's got a huge washer on it. I popped that off. So this should, in theory, slide out. But I'm pretty sure there's something else that needs to be done. So I'm going to continue working on it and see what I can figure out. All right, guys, so all it does is pull straight out ugh, like, like that. And if I can figure this out like so, and you can pop the middle spark, spark plug off, which I'm already missing that one. I don't know where that one disappeared to just now. But that one goes to this thing right here. It's the middle shirky liter. Wow, some of these must not fit very well. Um, so yeah, that comes all the way out like that, and we can set it on our now filled table of parts. That gives us access to all this down here, and we've still got quite a ways to go, but we are making some good progress this evening, so let's keep going. Alright guys, it's getting a little darker out here, but, uh, and since I have the canopy, this doesn't help, but what I did was I loosened a like a little bolt or adjuster thing here to get this belt off because we need it off to do what we're going to do. And I'll end up ordering new belts for this too, is my guess. But there's the one of the belts. And uh, that's that. So I will, I'm probably gonna take a little break here to eat dinner and stuff or do one more thing and then go in. I'll bring out a light and keep working, so. Let's get to it. Well, everyone, thanks for watching. This will conclude part two. I know I said I was going to do more, but I ran out of daylight. And so the next thing I'm going to be doing is taking off this fan here. I'm going to have to take the power steering pump off, which is a bummer, which I wasn't looking forward to doing that, but I'm going to have to. And the exhaust manifold, and we should be good to pop the head off. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, make sure to comment below and i will uh, catch you guys next time so thanks for watching and um, stay tuned for more to come part three coming out whenever